Okay, so this question wants us to simplify. So what a lot of learners do wrong here is they just wanna take this two and then they just wanna put it over there and over there. But that's not correct. That would only be correct if we had something like this. If you had something like that where you only have one term over here, then you can put the two there, there, and there, okay? But when there's a minus or a plus in the middle, that means we have more than one term. So instead, what you are gonna do is make a double bracket. So four x minus y, 4x minus y. For something like this, which I drew over here, you could also use double brackets if you wanted to. That also works. Plus 8xy. Now we're going to go multiply these two brackets together. Some learners like to use FOIL. What that means is the F stands for first and first. So you take the first one in this bracket and the first one in this bracket and you multiply them together and that'll give you 16x squared. Then you take the O, which means outside and outside, which is the, the most outer ones. So that's the one on this side and this side. It's the two that are on the very outside, okay? And so, and so if you multiply those two together, you're gonna get minus four X Y, okay? And then we need to move on to the I, which means the inside. So it's the inside and the inside, which means minus four X Y. And then we have the L, which stands for last and last. So it's the last one in this bracket and it's the last one in this bracket. So minus times minus is plus and y times y is y squared plus 8xy, which is this 8xy. Now we're gonna put all the ones that are the same together. So here we have a xy, here we have a x, sorry, here we have a xy and here we have a xy. They're gonna go together. So we're gonna end up with 16x squared now we can do the xy's, so that's gonna be minus four, minus four, which is minus eight. Don't say two negatives make a positive, that's only when you're multiplying. And then you're gonna say minus four, minus four, which is minus eight, and then plus eight, and so that cancels out. And so your xy's are gonna cancel out completely. Some learners put xy like that, but that's not correct, because if you put an xy like that, then that means there's a one. But we didn't get a one, we got zero. And then we still have this plus y squared, left over.